Welcome to New Media Scholar. My name's Truman, and I want to take a couple of minutes to uh, just think through some ideas that I've been uh, that I've been tossing around for uh, a while. Um, I have some some pretty fundamental questions that I, I, they're not coming into doubt for me, but I'm starting to realize that maybe the answers that I have about these questions, maybe the way I have about the way I have of thinking about these questions isn't as precise or articulate as I, I would like to have thought. Uh, so, uh, and I also wanted to do the thinking about some of these questions um, in new media, uh, as opposed to some of the more traditional alphabetic uh, uh, print-centric methods like word processors and pen and paper and journal stuff like that uh, so we'll we'll see what happens but I want to I want to get right to it um, so what, what I've been trying to think about is a really really simple fundamental question and that is what is uh, what is fundamentally different about uh, new media or um, I guess that takes a qualifier because uh, new media now is significantly different from new media 100 years ago. Um, so one of the things that's that's central to new media right now is uh, the fact that it's digital, um, and that I could take that a lot of ways. But uh, the most important thing is the you know when when you say digital, you're working with uh, bits and bytes and kilobytes and uh, information, the systems and patterns. But in order to take uh, an analog image, uh, an analog sound, whatever, and translate it into binary code, you need a system, uh, you need a mechanism, you need tools for abstraction, um, which in no way directly rep uh, resembles the the original source, um, and this is this is a huge huge. Uh, I, I don't know if I want to say ontological difference between uh, the digital and analog uh, forms of media, but I, it's it's. It, it's big. I, I don't know what else to say other than uh, that is something I really need to explore. Uh, I think we we treat digital texts in a different way because of that, uh, but we also think of them as real or virtual in much different ways because of that. Uh, and, you know, the some of the, the most simple foundations of us thinking of textuality are really undermined by the fact that there's that little bottleneck that everything has to come down to ones and zeros. Um, but that's also the incredible power of the digital, which I'll hopefully get to in another another segment. But um, so binary, abstraction, that's important thing number one. Uh, the important aspect of, of current new media uh, also is that um, the, 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 the digital form of media uh, handles material in a very, very different way than, um, than analog uh, texts did. For instance, um, going back to the abstraction thing, um, with, with the abstraction there is not necessarily uh, any difference in the performance of of a of of a movie if you are taking the movie off of a DVD or a Blu-ray or uh, a flash drive or a, uh, a hard drive, they essentially the the movie will be the same um, for the the experience of the movie will be the same um, could could essentially be the same. Uh, given all those different types of of storage, so there's there's this break between uh, storage and and the experience of a text, 
Uh, and that's made possible by that abstraction. Again, once it becomes information and not an image, then, uh, well, again, that, that's where a lot of the power of, of the digital comes from. Um, but there's, there's something um, that's, that's indirect about that. And again, this goes back to the idea of virtuality versus reality. When you think about how a record player uh, gains sound by the way the the needle pressing against the uh, the vinyl, the grooves, uh, and that producing a certain vibration, and that vibration being amplified, uh, you know, that's that's a very direct, uh, very very direct way of translating um, one sound into another. Uh, also, the, the well, in that case, the, the storage is not so much the same as uh, the mechanism through which we hear it. it. It sort of is, but I don't know, I'll have to think about that a little bit more. Uh, but the same thing with film, right? The, there's, there's no processing involved uh, no, no computer processing involved when uh, light shines through a lens, is focused on some film, and interacts with uh, chemicals. Uh, that's it's very direct one-to-one -one relationship. Um, yeah, that that happens for photography, for cinema, things like that. Even even books, right? The uh, the method of storage is exactly the same method as consumption, almost always. You store it on a page, we read it on a page. So there's, there's this, this realness, the directness, the, uh, that you just don't get with, uh, with the digital, um, which I think is part of why I like the digital so much. Um, uh, continuing on with that, because the, because the, method of, of storage, or the, the, the storage material is almost always, well, it's fundamentally separated from our, our methods of consuming it, right? We don't, we don't sit and watch a hard drive, we watch a screen, um, which is, and, and the stuff is not stored in the pixels of our screen, it's stored somewhere else and performed one of the, so there's, there's this, this power consumption aspect to to digital media to new media and this is this is something i don't think people think about enough when when you are watching a video you are uh, you're on, on a screen on a television on on a computer screen on an ipad whatever um there's what's called a refresh rate so basically uh, there are these lines going up and down, well, going down, 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 reproducing this image um, many, many thousands of times every second. Um, so any image, even if the image is just sitting still, is, is constantly performed, uh, is constantly fluid, even though it doesn't seem like it, um, which I think introduces some anxiety into... Uh, our consumption and also some anxiety into the storage of of new media um, because of its relationship to electricity and magnetism and um, things like that. So uh, the, the the constant performance necessary in order to to consume new media is really really important. And then this is one that gets talked about a lot. I'm not sure what I can add to the conversation, but it's the, the idea that the, the gulf between uh, producers of new media and consumers of new media is, is slowly narrowing. Well, it's actually narrowing very quickly right now. For instance, I'm not a guy of, uh, of, of great means, and yet I, I can put together a, 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 a podcast like this and distribute it. Uh, and now I see that I'm running out of time. But uh, I'm going to sign off. So those are the things. Abstraction, materiality, uh, electricity, and um, the consumers and the producers are becoming the same thing. I'll reflect more on those things later. Thanks.